Hello, my name is Kevin Barrett and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, glass making techniques um, and in relation to decanters, but some of them apply to other things. So the, the two methods that I'm going to talk about are uh, the half, the German half post method, and uh, which relates to bottles only, um, and um, cased glass but I'm going to use app decanters to illustrate that. Um, they are case one glasses used everywhere. So yeah, you're going to see it wherever you go. And, and generally it, if it's a way of creating more than one color and yeah, it, it, it has a premium value to it. And I'll, I'll talk about that when I show you the thing that I'm going to show you. And the German half post method, kind of as it implies, is a continental thing. Sometimes it's called double dipped. I'm sure there's other words for it. Um, but it's where you have a bottle, you blow it, and then you dip it into, into, the, into the furnace again and cover it with partially, or mainly cover it with another layer of grass, glass. And um, yeah, so those ones, um, you see them sort of like the very kind of Gen Gen Germanic Scandinavian glass. So yeah, you'll see them all over the continent. Um, they do sometimes come to the UK. So if you see them here, you'll know what you're looking at. You go, oh yeah, that's not a UK piece. It's either you know probably from somewhere Bohemia all the way up to Norway somewhere or whatever. So yeah, um, I will show you a couple of pieces. Um, so I'll cut away now. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this um, decanter that was made with the half post method. Um, it's made by Acida, um, designed by Bostrom, Bo Bostrom in the 1960s. And yeah, it's got a clear stopper. Just th thought you'd see the features of this. It's um, rough and um, rough cut, the stopper, so it's opaque, the, the peg. And I'll show you what I mean by double dipped. So you can see, actually, there's clear glass, and then here you can see this is where it was dipped up, up to. This is all a single layer of glass, and then this is another layer on top. And I've picked this one specially because the outer, the inner layer is green, and the outer layer is uh, yeah, is clear so you can actually see and as I turn it you can see these bits that are pulled are all kind of Clear can you see there? It's clear So yeah, this is two layers just to this Seam here, so if you see a bottle with a seam like this It's made with the half post or double dip method and um, You'll see if it's a square one. That's more of a traditional kind of decanter this is quite kind of more of your fancy art glass kind of thing um, sorry about the light but it's I'm trying to keep the sunlight out but my blinds are not being too successful but um, yeah so there's still although this is a very traditional genomic <coughs> Scandinavian method they're still doing it um, currently I think um, and you can see it's got that that bit there where it shows you, you can see that it's actually made in two goes. So this is case glass. Um, this is Scandinavian as well. This was made by Costa in the 1930s. Um, it's a very good quality piece. If I show you the top, I'll take the top out. You can see like there's clear where they've cut the cut the peg down. It's clear because the outer layer is actually quite thin on this, and you can see where they've cut into the top to make it to make the radiating cuts here and it's cut through the purple and into the clear so there's like a clear patch looking through the middle a little bit there in the middle there but yeah and then you've got this rather lovely grape design where they've basically cut through the thin purple layer and um, to get it clear and they've not polished either some of the some things you'll see are polished um, but they've left it all matte. This is a really nice piece. Um, you'll sometimes see these listed as Stevens and Williams, and they want 
huge amounts of money for them. Anything that's like this kind of quality, they're going to want a huge amount of money for it. Um, yeah, I've seen these up to £1,500, which is just absolute craziness because um, they're saying it's Stephen and Williams, and it's not. Um, but, yeah, this is a very nice piece. Um, if you actually see, I've seen more of these. They come in different colours. Um, none of them have been my price back. It. I was lucky to get this one. Um, but, yeah, the, this is, if you see any kind of quality like this, with flowing cuts like this, you quite often see quite simple um, case glass where it's cut and it's just crisscrosses and it looks very basic. Yeah, it's just not in the same class as this. So um, you just have to, although these pieces tend to be more valuable, you just have to look at the quality of how it's done. Um, and that's what makes the difference. So, yeah, I will show you a reference just to make sure you, you know I'm not bullshit about it not being Stevens and Williams. So here's my reference. It's a page from the Costa um, catalogue from 1931 that I got from online. And you can see my decanter there with the grapes and the leaves and everything and the, the dimples. Yeah, as I said, they come, some of them I've seen it in clear, I've seen it in green, I've seen it in amber. So yeah, the, this particular can, decanter comes in different colours. Um, and, and it should, it's a good quality thing, so it should get good money. Um, but not £1,500. <laughs> um, don't know where they made that up from. Well, they made that up. So anyway, um, yeah, the, I will also tell you, I downloaded this page, or this catalogue actually from the Matt's Linda website and I will give you a link to that because it's a really great place for catalogues for Scandinavian glass and um, yeah I highly recommend his website he he's happy he's a happy sharer he, he shares things on Facebook as well so um, I'm sure he's happy for me to big up his website thank you hello I hope you enjoyed that quick look at um German half post method decanters and case glass. Um, I will be doing more content like this where I explain um, about different glass techniques and cutting patterns and things like this. So um, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more of this kind of thing, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.